Alrighty, g'day guys, welcome to another game of Legion TD on Lil, and we're gonna run back the fucking Crab Dwarf King build. Yep. It was fun last time, this time I kinda wanna go for four Dwarf Kings on seven, see what happens. Because we have maybe no other hold, depending what he does. He does Ig, okay. Um, yeah, well I'm gonna intend. I'm going to play Dwarf King and we're going to see how it goes, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I feel like Corrupted Ant will actually be a really good mix for it early on as well. Obviously I really hope they don't Warrior, but if they do, it's like not the worst thing ever. I mean, it's painful. No, I, I take it back. It's it's pretty painful for me. I don't want to see warriors. It's like not bad for our team, but I do not want to see warriors. I wonder where he's gonna go with this. That'll be maybe interesting to see. God fucking damn it. Crabs are not terrible here, but I don't have a lot of wiggle room. But I'm also getting quite lucky. Like, how many stuns so far? I think I've been stunned twice. Three stuns? Four stuns? Four stuns in total is ridiculously lucky. Like, actually ridiculously lucky. Now I just need the egg to not go mid. Um, but the egg is not going to go mid. And the uh, healthy prisoner first, I'm not happy about it. I don't think he'll get through four warriors by the time the creeps arrive. I don't actually think I need King Gold to reach the thing, by the way. But yeah, I'm not gonna push, I'm just gonna I'm gonna stick to the plan. Because the roll doesn't do much else. I don't really want a free roll because it's a massive risk if I just end up with crap. And it's like, okay, never mind, I go from potentially a really useful line with Troll Champion, Dwarf King, into... Fuck all. <laughs> with two crabs to start with. Play some OG crab suicide and like sell everything level 5. Doesn't really work with Lumber Tax. Lumber Tax does not like zero value. Which is good, because Zero Value was really bullshit. It was really, really, really bullshit. Um, so, I'm glad that's not really an option. Okay, we'll drop those. Do I want this here, or do I want a one spot forward? I'm fine with it here, I think. I'm wondering what I should send. Maybe why then? What adds do I reach? Uh, just a bow, so I'm just gonna go why then. Well, Ivan's pretty good versus most of the Yolos. Aqua, I guess, being probably the big exception to that. It's not great versus Aqua. Um, but I would definitely consider it better than Ferb. I think Ferb is generally not very good on two. Two Spirits is maybe a question mark, but I don't want to risk, like, Send Split with someone just getting one Spirit. Because that can lead into a, uh, that can lead into very small numbers results-wise actually going to the king if a good hold lane gets only a spirit, two parasites, no, four geomancer. Okay.
If they only do two attack, I'm definitely going to get Corrupted Ents on three. I mean, they see this. I don't know if they'll actually send three into it, but... With only two attack and dropping the heal, I'm just going to add a little bit. So I'm happy to have some Corrupted Ents on four as well. Obviously I could push here, I just think... No. I think with two Dwarf Kings and some Corrupted Ents, I can do pretty well. I'm also not going to be four Dwarf Kings on seven, if that isn't already clear. That was like my initial thought, but the Warriors into the slower early game, into wanting to build Corrupted Ents, is taking that off the board, which is okay means I'll probably have three Dwarf Kings and push a bit more. Yeah, three Corrupted Ents I think is really, really solid. Corrupted Ent is an excellent unit, actually. I think it's very, very good. So he's four risking here. He is bad versus send, no matter what he does. Actually, maybe Grizzly is not too bad versus send here, but then you have a Grizzly which is, and it's got on 4 I guess, but it's bad on 5, makes him overbuild 5, bad on 8. So yeah, I think I will actually, I think this legitimately is 3 cover, even with 435, it could be wrong. Okay, they do indeed send here, please not blood or curb, sweet, just verb, I get my push. I'm going to do really well here, by the way. I'm going to have like a very solid mid. You see how fucking useless Ferb is <laughs> on like 2-3. It just doesn't walk. And yeah, I'm going to beat the shit out of the wave and have like a full health dwarf mid. And I'm going to collect my fucking rewards in mid. Because I'm going to eat everything. I'm legitimately going to eat every single creep. This is why we add Corrupted Ents. Corrupted Ent, good unit. Very good unit. And this thing just beats the shit out of Blood Orc. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy hell. Alright, so the Blood Orc was successfully had the shit beaten out of it, which is excellent, and I'm just going to grab another one on 5. It's overbuilt, but besides this unit, Meryl is terrible on 5, so I don't really have much I could add otherwise. Definitely not anything I'd be excited to add otherwise, so I may as well just get another one and keep the dead value to a minimum. I'm not ready to reroll yet, which would be the other option if I wanted to push more. So, yeah. They absolutely just take the extra um, push here. Um, did they have AoE on to? I don't really remember. Okay. Mergle? Sure. I wonder if I was mid to Blood Orc Ferb on 3. Based on like how it looked, so it's definitely possible. Are we looking here? We are not. Which is fine. Immolation. It's not really going to change how I'm going to play. I think I'm just going to go like 7 3 and get a third bronze beard or Dwarf King. Doesn't feel like an overbuild game to me at all at this point. Question, can I get four Dwarf Kings? Is it possible if I sell two Corrupted Ents for the farm space and the gold? Not really. 
I mean, like, if there's big enough king legs, I could do it, and it's not ridiculous. I don't think there's a hell of a lot of upside to it. Also, I don't know if this is... No, it's not a talk. That's right, I checked his line on four. Uh, as in, like, I checked how much gold he was banking, whether he was going for the second ig. And I was like, wait, well, maybe go for talk, but no, not with 6-1. Which is fine, of course, it's just nice to have in mind. I'd be su very surprised if they resend here, by the way. Very surprised. It's possible. But... Yeah, I don't expect it at all. It really doesn't feel like a game for the more Dwarf Kings for me, honestly. Uh, for 4, rather. Like, trying to overbuild as much as possible and getting 4. I'm just gonna go 7-3 man and get a third one. God, these are insane with Corrupted and actually. I mean, like, any unit that does the similar sort of thing to Corrupted and would be fine, of course, but, like, I had Corrupted and holy shit, Corrupted and is good. Also, let's do this into 6-3. Eh, maybe that wasn't worth it, actually. It's not that much time. This is probably not all lands leaking, considering two lands are leaking fairly big. The mid is only small though, so it's a bit of time. You can see the spell first, I suppose. Spell is not immolation, they are going to have to show us though. Thorn mail. actually be inclined to King 10 with that because I like you feel like they're gonna um keep extra overview because it's thorn now. Oh they do not want to burn the second here. That could really bite them in the arse on seven. But they've managed not to. Never mind. Well I'm not gonna bother doing the extra um Upgrade then. And yeah, I guess I'm staying 6 3. Which is totally fine, because I think with the third dwarf I'll do okay. At least okay enough to justify actually building the thing, because I imagine they have a difficult time sending much more than firm at well, considering they are minus 2 with thorn mail and overbuilding. They might feel like they have to send more. Stay in the game. Obviously, we have the immolation, so it's not overly scary. Yeah, I'm gonna have a super easy time going mid on uh, 10 with this. Probably gonna get four Dwarf Kings on 10. I could just spam them actually. Should be kind of interesting. Like Dwarf Kings with a bunch of Nulls and then like a Troll Champion. Doesn't sound very good, but it sounds interesting. Probably won't do it though. Anyway, as I said, just gonna chill on 6 3. He's staying. Maybe he wants to damage 10, but I don't. Uh, I mean, it's okay actually. It's okay. Permit for sure. Probably gonna look for a wolf. Happy little doggo. It's pretty good versus slave, pretty good in general. I'm thinking that'll be the uh that'll be my send of choice here. Buttock? I think wolf is significantly better, so I'm just going to do a wolf even if it's after income. Should have done the Hermit after income and the Wolf inside income, but it's okay. So click. I'm gonna do the farm rather than the spirit and get two nulls. 
Come on. Because I want Nulls for 10 anyway. I need a farm anyway to do my last Wisp. And hey, the Nulls might be helpful here. Maybe. Like, it's possible they only farm it. And maybe this can go mid to farm it. Honestly, I'm not sure. Nope, two Hermit's Wolf. They send a reasonable amount. Okay, they're taking a pretty significant risk here, I would say. Maybe they trust their overbuild, maybe they trust their push, or maybe they trust nothing and just figure they had to try and get back in the game with a decent send here. Not sure. Uh, this is doing really, really solidly. Okay, so I think this is like the way to play this unit with something like Corrupted Ant. It's giving it a bit of a buffer. Some share damage, because you can see I had Furb, two Hermits and a Wolf. I'm linking like six Satyrs and I killed one of the Hermits and the Furb. With 1085. 1085 is not that much and they have decided that they are indeed fucking dead. GG. Which as I said, a little bit surprised they sent as much as they did. Because they did. Fair enough, they were pretty behind, felt like they had to try and get back in the game with a large uh, send here, and this does not surprise me as a result of said larger send. Didn't get my freehold um, because of that, which is a little disappointing, but don't get to see level 10, which is disappointing. Let's check out Priest and Warlock and Goliath, more, I'd be happy with that. Blacksmith Druid. I had some fucking nutty rolls coming up for a 15-20. Yeah, actually, I was... I was fucking set. Rummy leaving before the game is over. Mucho cry. Love to see it. It's always successful when you make Rummy cry. Anyway, cheers very much for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Like, subscribe, all of that. And I will catch you in the next one. Cheers.